to re-explain what I am doing. What we did last class period is we basically went over this and broke it up into three different problems. The three problems is, ladies and gentlemen, we divide 12 over 16 times x to the eighth divided by x to the fourth times y to the fifth divided by y to the fourth. If you guys remember your rules of exponents, we can only apply the rules of exponents when they have the same basis. Okay? So the first problem we do is we're going to deal with the numbers. And the first one was 12 divided by 16, or 12 over 16. And what that says, again, is how many times does 16 divide into 12? Well, guys, 16 is larger than 12, so it does not go into there any even amount of times. So and an example that I'd say is 1 third is the same thing, I'm sorry, yeah, is, one, is the same thing as 3 ninths, right? Would you guys agree mathematically those are the same fractions? Yeah, their value is exactly the same. However, one is simplified, one is not. We say that the 1 third is simplified because for 3 ninths, if you divided the top and the bottom by 3, you would obtain 1 ninth, right? So notice 3 does not divide into 1, 9 does not divide into 3. So since 16 does not divide into 12, is there a common number that I can divide out of 12 over 16? 4. four. And if I divide a 4 out, I obtain 3 fourths. That's it, simplified. Now, the next thing that we discussed in our rules of exponents, or the next thing that we discussed in, our, um, in the mini lesson, I just divided the top and the bottom by 4. Now, the next thing is using our rules of exponents. So basically what the rules of exponents told us is when we are dividing exponents with the same base, we subtract the powers. So x to the 8 minus 4, and then y to the 5 minus 4. And then these are all in the numerator. So therefore, I get 3 fourths times, I will move in just a second, x to the 4th over 1, y to the 1st over 1. Now, we just simplify our final answer to 3x to the 4th y divided by 4 is your final simplified answer.